Every now and again, I come across someone in person or online who talks about how obsessed economists are with the concept of equilibrium and how this whole way of doing economics is incorrect. Being fortunate enough to know that there are people and ideas not worth engaging due to my own priorities, I've managed to limit to the best of my ability the consumption and reading of this material and have managed to filter out these type of ideas as an economist or at the very least as someone who likes to think about economics and talk about it intelligently. But given that I was and still probably am someone who finds themselves going down obscure rabbit holes, I thought it was appropriate to make a short little podcast on this. Maybe someone else will find this idea interesting or at the very least entertaining. The usual response which someone would give who is educated and is a well-adjusted adult is that this type of debate and this type of idea of economists being overly obsessed with equilibrium is an incorrect viewing of what economists are going and doing. I think that though this is the right response and message we should provide students, scholars, and curious working economists, which is simply to go and shun these wrong and dated notions of what equilibrium is, it leaves a bad taste in the mouth for those who are genuinely asking this question. Why must we expect immediately for people to understand that this is indeed a poor question to go and ask regarding the doing of economics? Under the rough exterior and presentation of these questions about the idea of equilibrium, there is an honest question. If the dictionary definition of an equilibrium is a state where there is nothing changing, why are economists going and using this word to markets where things are always changing, especially with cases where we're looking at markets with high trading or economic data where there's lots of changes, we could see anything but what something that we'd call an equilibrium. So why is this thinking and why is this criticism of equilibrium incorrect? Let's ask, what can we do with an equilibrium concept? Why we look for it? What can it go and tell us? When we define an equilibrium, suppose we go and we have one, we're defining a function. What we like to do with that function is we'd like to go and see how it changes with respect to different variables and parameters in the model. This is what comparative statics is. What comparative statics tell us is what the directional effects are of each variable in our model and what magnitude which is involved. It's these comparative statics which are the defining criteria for testing our economic models. In this sense, an equilibrium concept proposes a causal relationship between variables and our comparative statics provides grounds for hypothesis testing. Simply put, the power of an equilibrium concept is that even if we never reach an equilibrium, it tells us a way in which we can go and have an intelligent conversation about fluctuations in economic data as given by comparative statics. This is why those who criticize this approach to economics are silly because it's essentially saying that we need to remove hypothesis testing from economics altogether. The defining of an equilibrium concept is so powerful that it moves the discussion of economics from the realm of thought and the idea of values to one which is scientific where we can go and talk about things in terms of hypotheses about the economy which we can go and test. So those are my thoughts on equilibrium concepts and why they are important in economics. I hope this podcast was at the very least uh, entertaining, at the very most informative. Take care.